Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Rotator on. And today I'm gonna be playing Loud, the guy I beat the game first with. And uh, the guy that, um, yeah, is Loud, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, he gets 3D% more damage, which is really good, of course. 50% more enemies, which is also very good. And then minus 3 harvesting at the end of each wave. That, that's gonna cost us a lot of money at the end of the run, but uh, because he gets 50 more enemies, we will gain money through that anyway. And of course, we're gonna go with the Ghost Flint run here and try to get like 600 and 500 and 1000% uh, attack speed like most people get with this character. Let's do a difficulty 1 run just because we don't want to deal with inflation. And uh, we just want to have a fun run today. And then uh, at some point, at some point, I will start going into our difficulties. Now, my question is for you guys, uh, now that I have you all here in the very beginning of the run, do you guys want me to actually start playing on higher difficulties or is it all about having fun for you too? Because for me, it's definitely having fun. Uh, but I do know a lot of people enjoy difficulty more than uh, just um, nonsense uh, destroying opponents. Let's go to melee damage here. Wow, we got a very, really gentle alien. That's really good. Let's buy that. Uh, let's reroll and hope we're going to find our ghost flint. We found our ghost and extremely lucky. We're gonna buy that and lock this down so we continue increasing our luck. I'm gonna roll for three uh, to get access to two weapons because early game uh, that is uh, what you get. Uh, I could go for ghost scepter for max life. But honestly, I would like to only, only go for Ghost Flints and nothing else. So let's reroll again, I would say. And one more Ghost Flint, very nice. And also 10% uh, luck. So we already uh, can go really quickly into a very high luck build. So that's really nice. Uh, and also, I'm very, very lucky that we got the 5% more opponents this early. Uh, of course, more opponents mean more money. So uh, that is the main idea here. And also more attack speed, which of course we would really like to have. Now, this thing has been done by a lot of people, the whole idea of having a million attack speed, but I also wanted to do it too, uh, hoping that we're going to be a bit more lucky than the rest. So let's see what we can find here. I'm thinking about 3% dodge. Mm, now let's reroll for something offensive, to be honest. 5% attack speed, imagine. I'm going to go harvesting to counteract the minus harvesting. Uh, yeah, pretty much that, I guess. And over here, I would say let's go with speed. So we have some movement speed so we can run into opponents or just go with armor to counteract the fact that ethereal weapons give you a lot of dodge, which is really good, but also cut away a lot of armor. So in my opinion, you should fix that if you can, instead of just uh, full on deep diving into ethereal with uh, the negative armor being a downside, of course. So I'm going to try to reinvest into armor so we don't have issues later down the road. And if I also get like 20 or 30 percent dodge on top of the armor, I'm trying to fix uh, then we're gonna be even more durable because as you can see right now we are taking big hits now you might say of course you're taking big hits you're tanking hits man what are you doing uh, to that i have to answer i'm risking risk reward man risk reward especially in the early game i should really 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 invest into this whole idea of gaining crazy attack speed no oh, i should have run to the top left where there were more small opponents eight harvesting to still contract the minus harvesting we're getting as we do lose money at the end of each wave, I'm gonna take uh, consumable skills more as I do have enough luck for consumables to actually start dropping and being a main my way of us gaining damage. Uh, I will buy this. I would also like to go for crit. Here we go. Melee damage and crit chance. That sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna roll for five. That's not a lot of money. I didn't find anything here, but it's okay. I could go for the lifesteal if I want to invest into healing through lifesteal. Sounds like a good idea, but do I really want to do that? I don't think so. I want to continue scaling a bunch of other things other than lifesteal specifically. Nice, nice destruction there on everything. If I can get the 4% attack speed boost here, that would already be enough for this to be worth it. Look at the smacks we are doing. I really hope we're gonna find uh, even more aliens to have even more, uh, more enemies, I guess, on the map. If we're lucky, that is, of course. Ziggy zaggy through, destroying everything we find. Here we go. Sometimes the attacks fly off too early. So when another mass of opponent spawn happens. Look at our money, by the way, going down at the end. Oh, we got plus one. Oh, we are harvesting positive. Very nice. This is a first uh, blue. So 6% dodge is very good for defense. Uh, I'm gonna go 6% dodge, yeah. And 8% damage is also decent. Uh, the attack speed is not really an issue right now. We should get enough attack speed, you know, randomly. Oh, triangle of power. This really... I'm gonna say yes to that. This is a very early triangle of power that should help us out. We're also gonna take this, of course, and we're gonna lock down two armor for three uh, damage. As uh, three damage is borderline, not even a thing, and uh, two armor is a thing, so we definitely want that. Now that we got the triangle, of course, at the moment we get hit ten times, we lose on value. But if I only get hit, uh, you know, eight times or nine times we are breaking even so if anything it's actually better than breaking even we we still get the 20 percent damage boost 
as long as we don't get hit once. And the dodge definitely helps with the whole idea of maintaining our high damage. So yeah, dodge really fits the whole idea of this build in general. Let's continue running towards the masses of opponents whenever I can, instead of running into whatever else. Of course, I do want to get the trees in case I can get free items. Uh, but it's more important to get as many kills as possible. How much attacks we begin through that? 61. Whoa, we found our alien. Very nice. Two armor. Yep, let's take that. Another alien. What is this? What are the chances that we get so many aliens? Uh, is that a forced thing, actually, that happens? I'm gonna say yes to dodge and harvesting uh, above armor right now. So let's take that. And oh, I can also take the armor reroll for zero. Very nice. Weird food. I can lose to dodge to gain that. I can lose lifesteal to gain HP regen. I'm not sure about any of these. This is good because I'm playing with luck. This is a lot of healing. So I'm gonna say yes to that. The two dodge, I mean, we will get a lot of dodge anyway, so two dodge is most likely gonna get overcapped anyway. And HP region against lifesteal, honestly, no, I would say no to that. And we got our blue weapon, our first blue weapon. It's gonna scale our damage even more. Now we are with wave 6. This is one of the better waves. Uh, of course, wave 9 is the best, but wave 6 and 9 together are, in general, uh, supposed to be good waves. And of course, I need to increase my damage too. I'm only scaling my health right now. Uh, my attack speed right now, which um, it, it really, really is complemented with damage, so I need to scale damage. But the thing is that damage is easier scale than attack speed. As for, um, actually, no, I think attack speed is easier scale than damage. So I, I take that back. Let's try to chase down the, the, the item goblin. Especially with the triangle of power, I will lose damage throughout the run itself, which is of course very dangerous. Trying to also get the money, I don't even know what they will really chase down. Man, two treasure goblins appeared, they didn't kill a single one. Engineer against damage, no. Uh, range damage, elemental damage against speed, no. 6% dodge, I would say, yeah. Uh, 3 armor, I would also say, yeah, and then we're gonna be super tanky. Or I can go 10 luck or 5 crit. All of these are a good choice. Mm, I'm gonna go 3 armor so I don't have to care about it later. I will take this, lose a uh, knockback for lifesteal. I do want to heal a bit. Knock, uh, melee damage against crit chance is also good. My crits are double damage, yes, but three melee damage is a lot, so we're gonna go for this right now. And we're gonna throw away the dodge, as was the plan from the get-go anyway. Uh, honestly, this is really good for us. <laughs> I, I hate the item as of who unlocks it, but the item is good itself. And uh, I would say let's lose another two dodge for even more healing. So right now, the healing through items should be immense. Let's roll for two, 12. Nothing of importance here. Let's actually go. I need to find more shifts for this whole thing to be worth it. And I definitely need to upgrade my shifts too. Because, you know, the more they are leveled up, not only do they provide you with more attack speed. Because you need less kills to level them up. But also they provide you with more damage. Uh, so that's important. Oh, we got hit, so we lost some stats. It's okay. Let's continue scaling as much as we can. Man, this this, this is a fun run. I do, I do enjoy this a lot. This whole idea of gaining infinite attack speed for damage. Now, the Triangle of Power, I'm still not sure about if it was the correct decision that I took it. Uh, but I don't think it's the end of the world either. And uh, honestly, I should chase down opponents a bit more. I think that is a, a part what I'm lacking right now. But the Triangle of Power is also uh, a reason for that, because I'm afraid to lose damage. Which I shouldn't. I shouldn't be afraid to lose, like, whatever amount of damage I might. Nice. What we got? Harvesting continues going down. Armor against... Uh, yeah, we're gonna take dodge against one armor. This is a forced purple. I would say crit chance, as that's multiplicative with everything else. Otherwise, I can go with 12% damage. No, I'm gonna go with 7% crit chance. I think this is better. Uh, 6 melee damage is a lot better than anything else. Uh, let's go 6 damage into lifesteal, of course. And healing items heal us even more. Harvesting against 1 melee damage. Uh, this is gonna pay for itself, to be honest. So, I would say we take this and let's reroll. Ghost Flint, nice. Sell items for money. Honestly, no. Uh, I would say let's reroll here. Damage against range is good. This is another harvesting against melee damage. Do I want to continue reducing my melee damage? The thing is that if I make harvesting be high enough, it's going to literally contract everything that downside does. Let's buy this and let's also buy that. And let's actually go into the run itself and hope for the best. I know it's not a good idea to go for harvesting uh, for the trade-off of melee damage. Don't, don't get me wrong. I do understand the concept of I'm a melee build and I'm reducing my own damage. Uh, but the thing is that the negative harvesting is going to cost me forever money. And the positive harvesting is gonna forever give me money. So, theoretically speaking, if, if that 20 or 3D coins that I will gain through the thing I just made uh, will give me that 2 damage back by a single upgrade, then it's net positive, right? Like, if, if for example, that uh, plus 16 harvesting I pretty much just bought for 2 power is gonna give us, you know, 50 or 80 or whatever coins back, then uh, we will be able to buy something that gives us plus 2 melee damage and then... Uh, and then we will still have the harvesting helping us out. 
Now, of course, the harvesting itself costed too. So I do understand that it's not going to pay off that easily. But don't forget that I would have had negative harvesting otherwise. And negative harvesting costs us money too. So it is what it is. Let's continue onwards. And now the harvesting is going to try to still maintain itself by scaling. Uh, I would say let's go with 10 luck. I do enjoy luck in general. Let's find an Augustan. Very nice. And not let's find. We found an Augustan. Alien eyes, not really. That's rule 12. And now alien, definitely yes. Uh, I could buy this for a bit of life and the risk of instantly dying. We're gonna go here. We're gonna lose luck, which I enjoy, but still XP gain and mail damage is really important. And uh, should I risk losing on the spot? If this is wave 9, so... I don't think I want to do that, although most of the time I do do that. Yeah, let's YOLO it. It's a bit of a heavy YOLO, but whatever. It is what it is. This wave shouldn't be that hard as long as I find a single food drop with my 20 something like that. Here is my single food drop and now I have 20 life and we're good to go. <laughs> because I, I remember that I have invested into food drops giving us a lot of health. It's not that hard to remember in general. And uh, this is the best wave of course. And with all those uh, weird aliens that we have gotten, this wave is even better than it, what it used to be. By the way, what's my attack right now? 66. And we have 34 5 seconds. Let's see how much attack speed I can gain in 35 seconds. Of course, let's not forget the fact that we are losing damage every time I get hit. So we should avoid that, so we can still get our one shots on all of these. Oh, we just got hit there. On opponents down. Maybe I should made maybe I should have made opponents move faster, so they just collapse on us. Oh, look a treasure goblin, which we actually killed this time. Skill, we're still scaling damage. Uh, let's see how much damage is uh, not damage attack speed. Let's see how much attack speed is scaled within those uh, 35 seconds. Still trying to combo 745 money. Wow. And we gained. Wow. 30% attack speed. And who knows how much more before the thing even started. Lifesteal and HP region. Honestly, my defense is on the lower end. We're going to kill our harvesting off completely by doing this. Mm, I'm not sure I should do this. Killing off. This is going to cost me a lot of money. Actually, let's buy this. <laughs> Dodge. Uh, no, we're not going to take that. I'm not going to stay not moving. Obviously, we're going to take another alien. Is that like forced? What's happening? Harvesting crit chance, 10 harvesting, 3 armor are the choices. I would say 3 armor, honestly. Or 10 harvesting. It's between these two. This is a lot of money. Um, this is about 110 coins and XP that we would not even lose. And this is 3 armor. Oh, let's take the harvesting. 4 million damage, of course. If we to level up here, uh, I'm going to save 15 luck. We continue investing into this whole idea of luck. Let's make everything slower, us included and opponents included. Now, Ghost Flint, of course, we're going to buy that. Let's roll. Damage against attack speed, I'm gonna say yes, as we are scaling attack speed anyway. Ghost Flint, yes. Uh, destroy trees with one hit, yes. I'm gonna say I don't need this. Is my knockback negative? No, there is no neg negative knockback, so I don't need any of these. Could go for the ghost axe, but no. Crazy damage, we no longer can scale health. Uh, I think it's a bit too early for this. Let's get 10 luck. Let's continue rolling from 25. A coupon for yes, that's really good. A luck, yes, really good. Uh, everybody's saying that this always pays off for itself. Plus 88. The red will pay for itself. Let's buy it. I'm going to believe people that tell me things. Let's buy this. Of course, this is definitely scaling damage that we want. And 2% damage for 10% attack speed is definitely a yes. Although we are scaling attack speed with this, I still believe this is worth it. So let's buy that. I do want to have a machine gun shiv attack. Look at this. We're doing 51 damage now. Uh, which is, of course, insane. And my attack speed is above 100%. Of course, something very important uh, that I would like to get is Red Formation Sweetie. That thing gives you 2% attack speed per dodge point. And we already have like 50 dodge point or something. Uh, not 50, I think we have like 30 something. But still, it also gives you 10 um, it, it also gives you ten dodge on top of everything else. So we're going to get like 100% attack speed just through getting one item. Uh, which I hope we're going to get. If we don't get it, then so be it. Can't really control, you know, everything that happens in this game. I'm still doing 55 damage, although I got hit like 5 or 6 times. 100 on crits. I love it. Uh, I also have, I think, about a 20 to 30%. No, I, th I think I have a 20% crit chance. So I would also like to get, you know, hunting trophy for even more money. Especially with all these opponents that are trying to attack us. Hunting trophy is definitely, definitely gonna fit the bill. And uh, now we are at the end of the wave. So we should definitely try to amass the resources and also try to just collapse on opponents. Nice. 57, 600, 6 million damage. No, no, not even thinking about it. Uh, let's buy this. Let's buy even less range. I don't want this. Uh, once again, uh, our harvesting is collapsing, but uh, still, this is too much money to pay. Is it? This is not too much money to pay. This is uh, this uh, this pays for itself in five rounds, and we're at wave nine. Let's buy this for zero. I lose one armor, but whatever. Engineering, no, no, no. Reroll, ghost flint. I'm gonna buy that, even though it's a, a gray one, because there is a chance I'm gonna find out a gray one. You know, melee damage, good crit chance. My crit chance is at eight percent. 
which is 8% damage multiplicative. Mm, let's buy this. Yeah, it's 66. <laughs> that was obviously more damage than what it, it, it said it was going to give us. More max life against HP region. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say yes. I, I'm not, I don't feel safe with 43 life. Let's roll for 25. I know found another flint, which I can even buy. So I would say we will buy that. Combine. And uh, let us actually go. We have a gray one. A bunch of purple. So we'll insta kill on that thing. Very nice. We are destroying these guys. And I also have the bearded um, wise, wise wisdom or something. Yeah, wisdom I think is what it's called. And of course wisdom gives us damage throughout the wave. So we will do even more throughout this. Uh, after 20 seconds wisdom always is net positive. Actually breaks even. And then 25 seconds and after it, it's positive. So we should, yeah, we are already doing like 80 damage plus on hits. Of course, every time I will get hit, I will lose damage again. So it's like a, a delicate balance of a plus damage and minus damage. Now, the downside with the triangle, by the way, is that you cannot pick up the thing that says you lose one life every second and you gain for the harvesting, which I wouldn't even get, but I'm just saying, you know, it has a downside. I don't think that triangle is... I mean, the downside is obvious. No, I, I'm... Yeah, I don't even know why I'm explaining that the triangle is downside. I think everybody knows that. I should have definitely increased the difficulty in the accessibility options and made opponents um, have 100% more speed. 2 max life, uh, HP region, and lose recovery from consumables. Honestly, I would say no. This is going to cost us more money than give us, so we're going to recycle that. 9% dodge against 15 attack. Ah, we're going to go with 9% dodge, especially now that we have 59. That's almost max, and 3 armor, and now we're practically maxed out. Let's combine this by this. Uh, lose a bit of speed. Uh, lose uh, this, 2 melee damage. And lose a bit of speed, although my speed is in the negatives. This is a bit risky, but whatever. I need to get positive speeds up. I cannot buy this. Yep, I cannot buy this. So we're going to combine and buy. 15 range and attack speed against armor. Uh, my range is in the negatives. Yeah, I don't care about that. What else is there? Damage against range. I'm going to say yes. Continue scaling our damage through the roof for no reason other than damage is fun. Let's get this too. Uh, lifesteal. Uh, four lifesteal for negative knockback. Once again, there does not seem to be negative knockback in the game in general. So that's a lot of healing with no downside. Unless uh, I don't understand what it's supposed to do. Uh, I, I was under the assumption that negative knockback means op um, opponents get pulled towards you when you attack them. Which uh, I'm not sure is the case. Is it? No, it does not feel to be the case. So we're at wave 12. One of the better waves of this game. Of course, our crazy attack speed starts to show. Uh, as I see, the shivs are like... Da, 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 da. Nothing can even come close to us. Most of the time, when you have melee weapons, things are able to get through the... You know, through the fact that you're not actually able to protect yourself from every single attack. Because, you know, uh, when you shoot out to the top, things from the bottom are going to attack you. That's not the case with, of course, ranged weapons. As the ranged weapons, if they have a cooldown of 0.1, they will just attack everything around you. Like, pop, 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 pop. While this, of course, is not the case for this thing. Uh, now, there is... So somebody has told me to try to play with targeting. With hand targeting. I'm not sure if I want to even do that. Uh, now I'm gonna, once again, rush onto opponents to get as many kills as possible here at the end. What's my attack speed? What's my attack speed at? Uh, first of all, 12 harvesting. My attack speed is at 185%. Nice. Uh, I will take the 12 harvesting. Thank you. That's like uh, about, I don't know, 50 coins. Uh, pick up range and harvesting, but we lose dodge. I mean, my dodge is already through the roof, but I have zero for zero. Uh, even more enemies, we lose harvesting, we gain lifesteal. Yes, I want even more enemies, of course. Let's get luck. Max HP against damage. I would say no. Actually, that's that's very cheap. Let's buy that. 10 luck against 2 damage, I'm going to buy that too. The harvesting thing, <laughs> once again, I could buy that, but no. This is also no. I'm going to... Is this actually... This is going to pay for itself once again. Because 8 harvesting is actually... You know, even if we count in the fact that we're losing three harvesting every turn, this is still eight harvesting, which should still give us an amount of money, even if you count in the negative, because the negative is going to be part of the run anyway, no matter what we do. So as far as I understand, this is worth it, because in five rounds, it's going to make 40 coins, a bit more than 40, and we have more than five rounds, so let's buy that, let's for 30. Uh, we buy this and this. Wow, this. since when is this limited? Uh, I will definitely buy both of them, as these together do not cost 200. And now I have so many opponents trying to destroy us. I don't care. We're just opponents are going to be collapsing on us. <laughs> and we still have crazy uh, vampirism, the lifesteal or whatever it's called. So at least we're not weak. Now what I would like to get as a purple item 
because most of the time I'm talking about legendaries. Of course, legendaries, as I said, won't work for Mission Sweetie, but uh, as a purple item, I would enjoy getting the wings, the thing that says you gain movement speed and range. Uh, I think I have enough attack speed for range to actually start being important for me, uh, because, of course, the shivs are melee, and uh, I also need movement speed because, once again, the shivs are melee. <laughs> so uh, I need the more range so I don't have to run next to opponents, and I also want more speed so that I can run next to opponents. Like, both of these things are complementary to each other. It doesn't make sense to say, oh, I only want range, I don't care about speed. I also, it's really felt that the opponents move slower with the snail. I can really, really realize that. Let's continue just destroying everything. Man, so many opponents on the screen. I love it. I love it. I just love it. And now we're gonna just run through everything here and get as much, uh, I guess, attack speed at the end as possible. Attack speed, wonderful. Wow, another lucky. Nice. Wow, another, another lucky. Unbelievable. Uh, three armor, I would say. Actually, we have six. Yeah, three armor is good enough. Ghost Axe, the legendary. Honestly, I think I should buy it. Like, when the game just gives you a legendary item, just like, pop, get here, take it. I think I should take it and actually start scaling my damage as well. So let's combine these and buy this. Let's buy range. Why not? Let's buy this. Reroll for zero. That was my free reroll, by the way. That was unfair. <laughs> uh, let's go here. Let's reroll for three. Another three reroll. Let's buy that. And melee damage against the range. Of course, we're going to buy that. Literally part of the build. And uh, I could also buy this to harm. We're gonna lose to harvesting, but two melee damage is uh, two melee damage. In reality, is actually four melee damage, as I have more than 100 percent percent damage. So let's actually go. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Instant kill. They, they 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 didn't even have time to move. I don't think the axe is even gonna do. Oh, do you see how fast they attack? They like clack clack instantly. Look at the axe. It just disappears. It's just clop instantly. You don't even have time to see it fling. It just it just it just does. And I started believing that the axe wasn't even a good idea. <laughs> I started believing because I haven't gotten a single damage. Oh, I just got a damage up. My first damage up. I mean, the good thing with the axe is that it hits around. It doesn't stab. So it has like an arc. And that means it has a better coverage than the shiv. And that in order means that it's going to protect us better than the shivs do. Uh, from damage that might touch us. Which, uh, of course, reduces my damage at the same time. Look at this madness, man. Wherever I go, wherever I... No, wherever I go, actually, everything around us dies. I mean, look at this. Everything just around us dies. I should definitely pick. I get pick up strength if I find it. I avoided it previously, but now I realize that I needed 21. Crit chance against the damage, I'm gonna say take. Crit chance, I'm gonna say take. Uh, Mail damage, yes. Purple shiv, of course, yes. Now we got another legendary shiv. Uh, let's buy that. It's gonna cost us money, of course. Uh, range on attacks against lifesteal. I'm gonna say yes. I do want to fix my range. And I already have, like, my lifesteal is already too much. So let's buy this. Uh, I would even say let's buy this. But nah, it's not. Uh, it's too expensive. Ghostland. Yes, nice. Very nice. And uh, get a bunch of stats, but lose crit chance. I'm not sure this is worth it. Yeah, I'm really not sure this is worth it. The 4% crit chances, 4% multiplicative damage, and uh, the armor, etc. I don't really need it. We already have the amount we need. 28, we all nice, 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 nice. So let's buy that for sure. And uh, this, at the cost of 100, is not gonna pay up in time, as far as I'm concerned. Like, uh, may maybe it would pay off. Yeah, it would pay off in time. Uh, uh, at the moment, I found something that costed 300. I would just lock it down and... Uh, I don't know, man. Sometimes it does pay off. Sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it does. Okay, most of the time that thing does pay for itself. And you should most of the time buy it. Uh, but sometimes you just don't want to deal with the whole idea of locking the shop down. And not actually buying things all the time. Then the, the moment you find them, etc, etc, etc. And of course, uh, the, the moment I find something that costs like 400. And while I don't have 400 in my pocket... That that will be like the moment I <laughs> I will be like well if I had the piggy bank could have uh, could have bought it although if I had the piggy bank then I would have had a hundred less so instead of having like two hundred in the pocket I will be having a hundred in the pocket so that statement is also false at the end of the day should really try to see how much damage I'm scaling by the way every time I get hit I do lose two percent damage for the current round uh, but I also uh, every time I get kills I get plus one percent damage for the rest of the game so it's not like we're really losing anything. Dodge and Harvest against uh, both types of damage. Mm, dodge is already maxed out. I'm gonna buy this. Uh, harvest against less enemies, no. 6 minute damage, yes. 8 Harvesting, no attack speed, no dodge. Is already capped, over capped. Let's reroll here, I can find better things for minute damage for sure. So let's buy more enemies. Let's buy lose HP regen, who cares. Negative HP regen doesn't even do anything. Let's roll for 0. Tomato! Um, positive HP regen. I could buy this. 
Starting with half life isn't really that bad because at the end of the day we have like 20% life steal. So I could just buy this. But I don't want to. I, I don't want to. I don't think that really helps us out that much. Form against 3 damage. I'm gonna say yes to that. Uh, let's take damage against uh, range. Didn't really buy anything here. Let's roll for 36. 8 max HP against 4 dodge. I mean, you see, that's why we went with over dodging. I'm gonna say yes to that. That's 8 max HP, which is a lot. Harvesting against armor. Mm, this is definitely not gonna pay for itself in time. Let's uh, let's not roll for 50. Let's not roll actually for 50. It's a bit too expensive. Look how many opponents appeared. And they just all died. I'm so powerful. Wow. The, the, uh, infinite scaling. This is the infinite scaling char by far. Could have maybe played in higher difficulty. It doesn't matter though. And once again, I have a question for you guys. Do you actually care about me playing in higher difficulty? Or do you care about me doing unique runs? Because honestly, I would like to start doing some unique runs uh, as ideas. Instead of actually uh, just uh, being like, Oh, we're gonna now play everything on hard. Because it's more important to me to have fun than actually challenge myself. Uh, but uh, if you guys want to see harder difficulty so much, I will actually uh, abide by your rules. But uh, if do what you want, man, it's you playing. Yep, of course, but I also take your opinions into consideration, as always. And at the end of the day, by the way, uh, there is a good chance I'm going to start playing modded. So that's also uh, one of the choices, I guess. Do you want me to play on harder difficulties or do you want me to just bypass the whole idea of harder difficulties and whatnot and just go for the modded idea right away? I will include some quality of life mods or maybe some mods that just change the game in general and not just add new characters, like new weapons and whatnot. Uh, money for recycling. I might as well take that. 4 range and 12 dodge. Imagine taking for 12 dodge for no reason. Let's reroll here. 4 life steal is good though. 45 range is what I want to go for though. Uh, exoskeleton. Everything other than defensive things. You know what? I'm not defensive even. Uh, done healing related things. I'm gonna buy this. And I'm also gonna buy that. So I would say we buy both of these. Do I have the money? I do have the money. I could lock down here, you know. This is, by the way, for damage or something. I'm not sure I really want to buy this. Yeah, HP regen is useless. And 6 max HP for 161 coins. And also minus 2 mil damage is not worth it. 10% crit chance is worth it though in my eyes. This is also worth it in my eyes. Uh, this is also worth it in my eyes. Let's roll for 24. Nice. Nothing that I can actually buy. But it is what it is. Let's roll for 32. Uh, infinite luck. I mean, we are at wave 17. But I want this. So I'm gonna see we lock that down and go. The reason why I want that, even though we're almost at the very end, is because those very, very last items have an extremely higher chance of being things that I actually want. Uh, more specifically, you know, Retromation Sweaty for a crazy attack speed boost. And uh, what else do, do I actually want? I don't know what I actually actually want here at the very end. Maybe... Yeah, I don't know what I actually actually want. <laughs> what I really, really want, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, other than the wings that I already mentioned that I want, because movement speed is good on this build, and also range is good on this build. Otherwise, I, I don't know what exactly to go for. But I do enjoy that we are now actually having a, a sizable range. Like, uh, you can borderline not even see the shivs fly out. But the moment I'm close, I'm like, <laughs> everything is dead. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh, everything is dead. <laughs> They're trying, but they can't do anything against us. I should have definitely given the opponent some percent more movement speed. Would have definitely helped us out with even more damage scaling, which is just so stupid. <laughs> Make the game harder, makes the game easier. 766 coins, man. I love it. Uh, crazy damage against armor. Honestly, um, yes. Nothing is even attacking him. Wow, we got level 25. A bit unbelievable. Term percent attack speed? No, we already are scaling infinite attack speed anyway. Uh, 16 damage. What would I actually like? More armor could be really fitting. Uh, movement speed. I could fix all my movement speed issues. You know what? Let's fix my movement speed issues. Here, this 12, 12 speed. As simple as that. Let's take that. Uh, I could have gone with the 8 melee damage, by the way, which would have been crazy, but nah. Nah. <laughs> let's uh, let's take that. Uh, we're capping dodge again because whatever. Duh, crazy damage. Honestly, I'm still sticking to no. Here we go, now alien, very nice. More trees because memes. And uh, even more luck because meme no. Let's roll for zero. Beat it, baby. No. Oh, we found our flint. Very nice. We now have a full one. Time percent damage for attack speed. I would say yes, but honestly, we're so close to the end. Max HP, but enemies move faster. Honestly, this is good. <laughs> uh, I will even buy this, and we're gonna lock that down. This is good because of the fact that I want opponents to move faster. <laughs> I want opponents to come faster towards us. I want them to, to, to try to do anything. Look at this. We're stabbing for, 100, for 300 crit damage. This is unbelievable, by the way. This is just... This character is so strong. This is by far the best character for this weapon. The fact that we got, um, I don't know, five aliens and two plagues giving us crazy another 50% opponents on top of everything else is just also even more crazy to me. Look at this, man. Look at this. They're trying, but they can't even come close to us. 
Oh, we got hit. We lost 5% damage to that. Actually, 2% damage. Haha, we dodged though. That's not the damage loss. Very nice. I want to see how the final boss is gonna vote against this. I'm just gonna run towards it and try to destroy it. Uh, collapse. Oh, there's some more right there. Look at this. Everything's dead. Let's run through again. Everything's dead. Will we get to 600 attack speed like everybody else does? Will I be able to get 1000 attack speed? I would also like to do um, a crazy farm run with the farmer character, uh, trying to get like harvesting to 1000. Damage at the end of each wave, no 155 for sure. And now 128 for sure, I would say. Actually, no, let's get the 25% damage. For lifesteal is really relevant for us right now. 45 range though seems a bit fun. Let's take that. Let's take opponents move faster. Let's take we do more damage. Roll for zero. Attack speed and range against armor. Yes. As you understand, I am throwing away all my defensive repercussions. Look at this. Let's continue with aliens. How many aliens do we have? We have eight aliens and two snails. Wow. So many more opponents. I can't really buy that. Let's roll for zero. Great chance to dodge against range. No. Range damage. No. Let's roll. Nothing of importance. Oh, this is good though. Run them in when you pick up material. Oh, I don't care. Let's roll for zero. None of these is important. Let's roll for 63. Engineering and XP. <laughs> like what? Let's just go on. Oh, this is good for us. I mean, it's a bit too late though. So let's just go on. Uh, we're trying to force a, a legendary item here. As I said, retro hoodie. It's going to give us like 120 attack speed just on its own. By the way, the range is actually now... Look at this. Can you see the difference with having range or not? Now, uh, of course, we are opening ourselves more up to getting hit. But, I mean, look at the coverage we're having. Anything that comes into our zone, so to speak, just gets stabbed until it dies. And I just see... Clink, 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 clink. Like, we're just gaining attack speed, attack speed, attack speed, damage, 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 attack speed. It just doesn't stop. It never stops. And we got three items because we have 120 luck, of course. So, nothing even stops. Let's hope that 130-something luck not only will give us more than three items. Let's hope we're gonna get, like, five. But uh, the more important part is that a lot of these items have a very high chance of being... You know, a rare, uh, legendaries, epics, whatever. So, once again, hoping for a Red Formation Sweetie. Or at least my item, just to gather all the money at the end and be like, Oh, look how much money we have at the very end of the game, where it doesn't matter at all. I'm, I'm really serious about the fact that it doesn't, it's useless. 140 coins could have been gained. If I take this, we lose the game on the spot. Because, as I said, this is gonna reduce our damage by 2% every second. Nope. And that's a yes. More defensive things. Crit chance 15% and range 50. Yes. Literally what I wanted. I love this thing. I love this item. Let's take that. Uh, free reroll. It's not It's not gonna pay for 84. Uh, this is not gonna pay for itself as it's useless. Let's go 9 dodge because memes. No. Let's go attack speed or crit chance or something. I tried to get a higher crit chance. 12% damage is good. 45 range though for the memes. Let's actually be a ballista. Here we go. A crazy damage boost. That 8 is actually for us more than 8 because we have 253 attacks damage. So yeah, that's that's busted of course. Let's reroll. Nothing of importance here. 2 melee damage. I mean, look at this. Look at this. 2 melee damage. Uh, from 254, 2 melee damage is, yeah, 60. We went from 54 to 61. So that's like 7 damage. Um, yeah, 7 damage. Let's reroll. And now Gustin, nice, we are only legendaries now, and uh, might as well go for range because the meme goes on. Let's continue. Here we go, focus. We lose, for every weapon, 3% attack speed. That means we lose 6 times 3, we lose 18% attack speed for 30% damage. I don't enjoy that, honestly. Uh, so let's reroll this. Shurikens, no, let's reroll this. I'm trying to find mine or Retromation's item, or I could just buy these 3 and be done with this. Uh, let's actually re... No, let's buy damage. Let's buy damage. Let's roll. Torture. Useless for us. I do heal more with a 20% lifesteal. And uh, now we might as well roll for the for the end of it. And let's go and win. Come on, let's see. We have eight, 90 seconds. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. E Z. Well, we ran out of time. <laughs> anyway, we won once again. Very easy to deal here. Uh, of course, I should have gone on higher difficulty because I could have easily beaten both bosses that appear at the end. So there's that, I guess. Maybe I should start playing in the higher difficulty. I don't know. Maybe. Just maybe. Uh, it's on you guys to decide, to be honest. I, I do enjoy the whole idea of having fun runs and not really caring about the difficulty of the game itself. I just want to have fun. But uh, if you guys really think that I should go into higher difficulties, I will do so. And once again, I uh, I will start looking into mods to start modding this game. And uh, there are some more things I want to do, like, for example, with the saver. Uh, I'm actually, no, the saver got nerfed. We got the god run the first time I tried this. I would like to try to get this guy. 
uh, the entrepreneur because uh, this is a harvesting build pretty much i would like to try to do a harvesting build with an entrepreneur or i would like to do a harvesting build with a farmer that gets five percent additional harvesting and also starts with uh, the 30 harvesting that he does so one, one of these two is what i really care about so yeah we're gonna see we're gonna see anyway that's going to be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop a like to the channel i would like to hear your opinions on everything that i have asked within the run and um yeah thanks for the patreon membership supporters as always and that's it thanks for watching and see you guys around